In the vast, silent expanse of deep space where no air carries sound and no light travels, freely Voyager to continues to drift farther than anyone once imagined possible. Like a phantom vessel powered by the slow decay of radioactive elements, it sails endlessly into the cosmic void, sending back fragments of distant realities. But recently, one of those fragments stood out. Hidden deep within layers of data long considered routine, an image was uncovered not by chance, but through artificial intelligence trained to recognize what human eyes cannot. What it revealed was unsettling. It wasn't a glitch or a smear of static. It showed structure, deliberate design, a sense of purpose. A concealed pattern that has reignited a haunting question. Did Voyager to simply observe the universe or did it observe something watching us? Since their launches in the 1970s, Voyager 1 and Voyager to have evolved into symbols of human curiosity. While well, Voyager 1 charted a course through Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 was sent on a stranger route toward the overlooked planets Uranus and Neptune. These missions weren't merely about visitation. They were about transforming our understanding of the outer planets. In 1981, as it passed Saturn, Voyager 2 delivered a stunning image of the planet's effering capturing unexpected twists and braids features that contradicted prior assumptions of simplicity. Instead of uniform rings, it showed a chaotic, sculpted, elegance, suggesting forces more complex than gravity alone, but it was the 1986 encounter with Uranus that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Voyager 2 did more than fly past a frozen, spinning planet to exposed hidden moons, unanticipated ring systems, and magnetic fields in complete disarray. It traversed a plasmoid an enormous structure of magnetic energy and survived. One particular image, recently reanalyzed by AI, was taken just before the spacecraft entered Uranus's magnetic field. Soon after, its instruments behaved abnormally dot years after those historic encounters, NASA released vast archives of Voyager data terabytes of raw, unprocessed images to independent researchers and AI labs for re-examination. Among these was a dataset from Uranus, once dismissed as meaningless static. When reprocessed through a sophisticated AI filter designed to detect subtle visual anomalies, something remarkable emerged. Within the icy distortion and magnetic interference, a faint but symmetrical pattern appeared. At first glance, it resembled a torus, a common shape in magnetic modeling. But the inner structure precise, clean, and the line suggested something. More, it echoed the look of circuitry, not just shapes, but configurations as though something artificial had briefly entered the spacecraft's view, or perhaps had been there all along. The team triple-checked their source data. This wasn't edited or altered imagery. It came from the original transmissions. And as Voyager to continued its journey beyond the solar system, it crossed the heliosphere the protective bubble shielding our planetary system from interstellar radiation. Many believed the probe would go quiet beyond this threshold, or that its readings would become irrelevant, but in 2018, it detected something unusual, a faint, persistent hum. Initially dismissed as background noise, further analysis revealed it to be a signal not a communication, but a consistent tone corresponding to the density of plasma outside the heliosphere. For the first time in history, humanity was receiving live readings of the matter floating between the stars. Then, that plasma density began to fluctuate slowly, rhythmically, in a manner disturbingly regular. It pulsed, not randomly, but deliberately, in a way that led some scientists to ask whether Voyager was detecting a natural phenomenon that mimicked intelligence, or an intelligence mimicking nature? This question brought researchers back to Voyager's most famous image, the pale blue dot, a photograph of Earth seen as a speck suspended in a sunbeam. But what if we were not the only ones viewing the cosmos in this way? What if something else had already been watching long before Carl Sagan asked us to consider our fragility? The newly enhanced AI image echoed this possibility. Its symmetry and placement coinciding with the magnetic disturbance near Uranus suggested that Voyager may have glimpsed more than empty space. Perhaps it caught the fleeting trace of a presence not fully visible, but hinted at through patterns, electromagnetic distortions, and fluctuations in plasma behavior. 
a presence that appeared and then vanished, not revealing itself fully, as though it had no interest in being seen only in watching. Shortly after the image was flagged by AI, a retired Voyager mission engineer stepped forward, recalling a forgotten log entry from 1986 during Voyager 2's Uranus flyby. A sudden data surge lasting to point for seconds was recorded. Multiple instruments showed simultaneous minor voltage irregularities. At the time, this was dismissed as interference from Uranus's volatile magnetosphere. But when researchers compared the timestamp of that surge with the AI discovered image, the alignment was exact. That moment of visual anomaly occurred precisely when Voyager's systems registered the surge. Now, some are calling it a near field, proximity event a moment when something passed dangerously close to the spacecraft. And yet, nothing collided with it, no damage occurred, no trajectory shifted. Whatever it was, it either maneuvered perfectly or passed through without touching. This possibility gained more weight when scientists reviewed how the AI behaved during the discovery. The algorithm had been built for image recognition and structural analysis, yet during prolonged exposure to the Voyager dataset, it began behaving erratically. It stopped processes mid-cycle, flagged benign data as critical, and in one documented case, it terminated an analysis loop entirely, marking the image as a cognitive feedback hazard. Developers assumed it was a case of overfitting an overly sensitive model, but others asked, what if it wasn't an error? What if the AI detected something resembling intent? In deep learning, algorithms can be trained to spot signs of agency like identifying faces in a crowd or coordinated behavior. In satellite data, what if this AI, when confronted with Voyager's hidden image, detected not just geometry or math, but something more something aware? While public attention focused on the visuals, others studied the signal metadata surrounding the image. Voyager 2's signal is weak, degraded after decades and billions of miles. But embedded in the transmission were plasma wave patterns. One physicist noticed that during the exact moment of the anomaly, the wave pattern formed a near-perfect fractal spiral. It repeated once, then again, and then ceased entirely. Across all recorded space data, nothing like it had ever been seen. It raised the possibility that the spiral was not natural, it may have been a reply. A knock from the darkness, waiting to be acknowledged. Perhaps the most provocative insight came not from astrophysicists, but from an anthropologist who studied ancient cosmography. When shown the AI enhanced image, she noted similarities to ancient star maps, Babylonian carvings, Aboriginal Dreamtime symbols, circular forms intersecting arcs, central hubs. She wasn't claiming extraterrestrials had visited Earth, but rather suggesting that these ancient depictions might come from a shared, universal imprint of memory echoed across time and culture. Perhaps humanity has always caught glimpses of what lies beyond, and only now, through a machine hurled into space half a century ago, do we possess the evidence to connect those visions to something real. This image is more than data. It may be a map not of where we've been, but of where something else already resides. Voyager 2 was built to observe, not interfere, to record, not to interpret. Yet through decades of silent travel, it has become something greater. A messenger of a truth we might not be ready to face. Hidden in static, buried in overlooked frames and disregarded anomalies, is an image that whispers a profound question. What if we were never alone? This is not a work of imagination, it is science colliding with the unknown, and when we allowed machines to see what we could not, we uncovered intention, symmetry, rhythm patterns that defy randomness, Voyager to may have passed beyond our solar system, but it may also have crossed into a domain that isn't ours. A space where we are not explorers, but intruders. Now that the veil has lifted, even slightly, the world feels different. Because the most unsettling idea isn't that we're alone out there. It's that we're not and perhaps never have been.